Um, my name is Jill Timley, and I'm Judy and Leonard West's daughter from Lincoln. Uh, this letter was mailed to the church from my great uncle, Jolene Daniel, which would be my mom's uncle. Dear church family, when I received the word that the Stanton United Methodist Church would be closing their doors next month, many emotions crossed my mind. Having this news before me, I have chosen to reflect on the memories in the life which are connected to this church, and I would like to share a few of them with you. Born to N.G. and Nellie Daniel in 1927, I was raised in a church home, knowing God's impact from an early age. At the age of five, my parents began bringing our family to the Stanton United Methodist Church. Our family consisted of my two older sisters, my three brothers, my parents, and me. My brother and sisters eventually all moved off, but I stayed and eventually started a family in Stanton. I will never forget the loss of my parents, but I am so thankful for what this church meant to my family. When my mother passed away, this church saw 595 people of the community, family, and friends alike attended to pay their respect to her. There were 85 bouquet of flowers brought to in her honor. A memorial book was started because of her there as well. A few years later, father passed away and 500 people came to this house of God and paid their respect to him. There were others that we paid respects to here at this church also, and I am grateful for this church presence in the community to the house, these memorials. Through the years, there were many great memories with members from this church. For instance, David Carroll built a new house for me. Henry Schultz, the undertaker, was a compassionate and caring man during the family times of grief. The local grocery store owners, the Hicks, Spranglers, and Boyds, all, all we were great members of this church. Best wearing, the area school superintendent saw my son and daughter go through the school system and had my wife Betty as one of the teachers. James Phillips and I were ushers and once had to put had to attend to a, quote, smelly issue, quote, in the basement, and thankfully it wasn't the church's sewer problem, but as a trustee, I was involved with fixing the issue with the neighbor on the hill. <laughs> the church gave me and many others in the community a sense of belonging and a role in the church which we may not have without Stanton United Methodist Church. Many important members of this community gathered at this house of the Lord, which was a true pillar of the Stanton, Nebraska. And I am grateful for what you've meant to Stanton for all of these years. The memories that I hold dearest in my heart through involving my family, my wife, Betty, and I got married in the house next to the church in 1947. Starting my family, Betty, her sister Marcy, and I were all devoted members of the church. Soon thereafter, we were blessed with two amazing children, Mick and Debbie. With their spouses, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, they are 42 in all. While attending the nearby school, Debbie learned to play the piano. The church would allow her to come over after school and play the church's organ. This allowed her the opportunity to play to, during some services and funerals. Later on life, Debbie got married in this church and Ken and to Ken Chatta in 1973. As Mick and his wife Nancy and Debbie Ken moved to start their families and their new families in Colorado and Ohio, respectively. Betty and I decided to venture out into the world too. We stayed full-time attending members of this church 
until 1979. Leonard and Judy West have remained a lifetime members of this church and the community. Every time I return to Stanton, I will never miss the opportunity to, church, to attend church home. As one of my favorite hymn song goes, then sings my soul, my savior to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. The power and compassion of this song resonates how this church has been his hands and feet to so many in this community. I cannot put a value on what this church has meant to me. By having these doors open, allowed me to hear his world, word to sing and praise his name, praise and be a part of his church family, it molded me into the man that I am. I became a much better man, father, husband, grandfather, because of what this church has installed in me through God. As probably the oldest church member, or at least currently at almost 95 years old, he just turned 95 on June 9th, so he's now 95 years old. To all of the members in this greatest gift God has given to me, to get to this age and have these blessed lifelong memories is possibly because the Stanton United Methodist Church opened its doors all the years and did his work. Thank you all so much. Love and God bless you all. N.G. Daniel.